Giro Girlus was always tinkering with his inventions in his lab, but lately, he found himself distracted by the sight of a little duck boy named Sprinkles. Sprinkles was a cute and curious little duck with a smile that could light up a room. Giro couldn't help but feel drawn to him every time he saw him. At first, Giro dismissed his feelings as just admiration for Sprinkles' curiosity and intelligence. But as time went on, he realized that his feelings went deeper than that. He found himself daydreaming about Sprinkles and wanting to spend more time with him. One day, Giro finally mustered up the courage to talk to Sprinkles. They chatted about their shared love for science and technology and Yiro found himself feeling more and more drawn to Sprinkles with each passing moment. As they worked on a project together, Yiro couldn't help but feel a flutter in his chest every time Sprinkles smiled at him or brushed against him accidentally. He knew then that he had a crush on the little duck boy. But Yiro was hesitant to tell Sprinkles how he felt. He didn't want to ruin their friendship or make things awkward between them. So he kept his feelings to himself watching from afar as Sprinkles went about his days. One day, however, Sprinkles approached Yiro with a shy smile on his face. Yiro, I have something to tell you, he said. I think I have a crush on you. Yiro's heart skipped a beat as he stared at Sprinkles in disbelief. He couldn't believe that the little duck boy he had been crushing on felt the same way about him. From that day on, Yiro and Sprinkles were inseparable. They worked on projects together, went on adventures, and spent countless hours talking about their hopes and dreams. Yiro couldn't believe how lucky he was to have found someone as amazing as Sprinkles. And as they stood together, watching the sunset over Duckburg, Yiro knew that he had found something truly special. He had found love in the most unexpected of places, and he wouldn't trade it for anything in the world.